Electric cars. They were once a fantastical concept, but now they're a common sight, seen right next to old-fashioned diesel cars. They're less of a novelty now and more of an everyday product. This is good, given that they are turning out to be something other than fanciful dreams. They are a new eco-friendly alternative to traditional fossil fuel vehicles. However, there's one issue that is preventing them from embracing the new status as an eco-friendly alternative, and it's all coming from battery waste. We all know how batteries work. When they run out of juice, they have to be disposed of. In this situation, we can start to see the problem. By producing more waste, electrical vehicles are not as impactful as the marketing will make you believe. Luckily for Mother Earth and electrical vehicle marketers, people are starting to focus on the issue of battery waste, and government policies are supporting this avenue and aiming towards propping up an affordable market for electrical vehicles. Reporter Khan and Moon are here to tell us more. A little background info before we go on. Firstly, it's important to know that EV batteries are deemed expired once they reach below 80% of original capacity. This is due to safety concerns and citing data from the Korea Energy Economics Institute, we can learn that this practice is increasing the sheer volume of battery waste from 440 batteries disposed of in 2021 to around 8,000 in 2025 and 79,000 in 2029. So this is obviously concerning news, especially if they are all slated for immediate disposal. Thankfully, this is where government regulations are playing a role. Until now, the usual procedure regarding electric vehicle battery waste was to send their expired batteries to government facilities for storage, due to the fact that careless disposal of batteries would result in severe environmental damage. Then, they would have these batteries stored in long-term facilities, which would obviously accrue costs and trouble everyone involved in the process. Furthermore, there is evidence that storage cost factors into electric vehicle prices, with consumers shouldering the cost of this decision. However, on January 1st, a new bill was passed regarding electric battery management. Now, businesses and research centres can buy used batteries. The batteries can then be dismantled into raw materials or be repurposed. This is where we introduced the ESS, or the Energy Storage System. An energy storage system stores power indefinitely, often with enough voltage to power a household, and stores them in case of emergency. This technology is especially useful in situations where production fails to yield consistent results, such as in renewable energy generating plants. Here, ESSs are used to provide a stable supply of energy by regulating the energy stockpile. UBESS, or the Used Battery Energy Storage System, brings the two technologies together. Expired batteries that pass stringent safety inspections are repurposed as ESSs, thus reducing battery waste and increasing energy efficiency at the same time. This landmark change in policy gave leeway for LG, SK, Samsung, Hyundai and many other organizations to participate in a massive co-op project that will regulate the flow of expired electric vehicle batteries. This Use Electric Vehicle Battery Alliance is dedicated to building a plant where the batteries can be reused, remanufactured and recycled in a single cost-effective manner. Currently, the project plans to build two facilities in Naju and Guangyang by December of 2023. We still face many challenges regarding the handling of electrical vehicle batteries. However, it also stands that this is a new market with plenty of experimental policies and corporate attitudes. It remains to be seen whether new regulations or business projects can bring toward a new frontier in eco-friendliness in the transportation industry. Thank you, and that's all for today.